Welcome back to my online video tutorial series. For this video, I will be looking at section and uh, in particular, uh, footing details. This is 2005 CC question. And uh, the question reads thus, figure one on the enclosed sheet shows the outline of a floor plan for a two bedroom residence. The building is to be constructed with a hip roof. Draw to a scale of 1 to 50, the full sectional elevation to include foundation detail, floor construction, wall details, roof details, three vertical dimensions. Show clearly all sectional details. Part B of this question asks that we draw to a scale of 1 to 10, the open eave detail to show a suitable method of anchoring the roof show clearly all construction details. The final part is that we print a suitable title and the scale used at the base of each drawing. Dimensions not given are left to the candidate's discretion. These are some specifications and these are very, very important or specification. The specification is basically guideline. So for this particular drawing, uh, door one should be glass sliding door, 1800 by 2100 wide. Door two should be flush door, 900 wide by 2000 high. On inside windows and over. External wall should be 150 millimeters with 10 millimeters plaster on both sides. Internal doors should be 100 millimeters thick with plaster and both sides, sides as well. The foundation is reinforced concrete continuous strip footing, which is 200 millimeter thick by 600 wide. So this basically looks something like this. So this is 200 is it here for this? This should be 600. Here should be 600. 600. 600. And here should be 200 for the footing. And let's say reinforced concrete, continuous strip which means that we're gonna have our little steel work down here. And the bar coming across here for that. And of course, our concrete will be inside there. We also have our, let me draw this here. Of us, our wall, which runs, look a bit shaky. example. So this would be our footing. This would be our wall, a wall right here. And we have the different the different um, members of this. So let's say the foundation <clears throat> uh, floor should be 100 millimeter thick reinforced concrete slab with 20 millimeter thick sand screen, sand slash cement screen, and a 50 millimeter sand binding, 150 millimeter hardcore. The height of finished floor to top of the ring beam should be 2,800 millimeters. So let me sketch this footing detail. They didn't mention anything about depth of foundation, so it's up to us to determine the depth of foundation. Uh, depth of foundation ranges from 300 to 1200 millimeters. So my first layer here would be my screed. That represents my screed. And um, <clears throat> Oh, the cement, cement, shush, sand, and um, sand binding. That would be a layer right here. That is 50. 
our reinforced concrete slab, which should be 100 millimeters, would be right there. And below that, we know we have um, our hard core, which is 150 millimeters. So this would be our So for this, for this we have um, our sun blinding. Above that we have our sand um, cement spread. Here we have our we have the slab slab detail and below here we have the hard core and below the hard core we have the earth one two three in one direction one two three second direction one two three perpendicular and of course we'd have a little circle here to represent our steel one little circle here with the steel and we would have our bar here the reinforced bar down here and of course we would have our we'd have the concrete down here. Up here we would have the wall and on the representation for the wall, which would have been that. So this is basically the detail for that. Here would be the depth of foundation, which would be from the top of the hard core to the base of the footing. And this ranges, this ranges from 300 to um, 1200. They didn't stay. So in this case, you, you could use anything between uh, probably nine, eight, nine, up to 1200 millimeters. So here, this reinforced concrete, this should be 1200 millimeters. Sorry, it should be a thousand millimeters. So this should be a thousand millimeters, a thousand. The hard core should be 150. The reinforced concrete, this should be 200 by 600. Yeah. And um, the sand, uh, sand cement spread, this should have been that. And the sand binding should have been this. So that's basically all, all of this is the sub, the sub level. It's a part of the foundation detail or the substructure, all of this here. So that's basically the detail. The second part of this is the asset we draw the A full section, which means that we need to cut through the building, through the entire building. We must cut through the entire building. And we need to show it with foundation detail. So that was the foundation detail, along with the floor detail, wall detail, the, 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 the roof detail. <clears throat> the roof detail, now this would encompasses the eave and the if Eve on the ridge detail. For the Eve detail, I noticed here that they asked us to draw 
to a, um, to a scale of one to ten, the open EF detail to show a suitable method for anchoring the roof. We want us also show clearly all construction details. So the eve detail would look something like this. Let's change my color to red. This is the wall, that's our wall. And uh, above here, we have the our ring beam or ring beam to be here. Ring beam would be there. Our wall plate would be, let's use a different color for the wall plate, would be here at the top of the ring beam. Wall plate would have been here. And um, our hurricane strap, well, let us first draw our first rafter. Rafter would run from here all the way out to that. That would be our rafter, one rafter. In this case, did they give us a dimension for the rafter? Let me check. Rafters, let's check specification. Uh, no, they didn't. Overhang should be 450. Overhang is 450. Internal and external walls are 100 and 150. Uh -huh. So I would use, if they don't give you the dimension for the rafter, I would use 150, which is 